Hey there, guys. Icy Wolf here, and welcome back to our the Order series. The last episode, we we uh, tamed up a Gigantosaurus, and we uh, got a couple tames that are finally all bred up. Um, first off, the Gigantosaurus, amazing creature. Um, definitely, definitely powerful. I wish there was more around uh, our area to kill, but. There really isn't. Um, there is another Gigantosaurus far, far down there near the Redwoods. But it's only like a level 20 or something like that. So if it comes down this way, we should be able to handle it. And then the next thing we did was... So, Echo. Was we got this big boy. Which, I mean... He's nothing to really look at right now. No mutations or anything like that. It's pretty pretty plain Jane. I did get a couple with a couple like really green mutations. I'm not going to use those ones. I think it was like oxygen mutation. Even though these guys do use underwater abilities and stuff like that. So that's cool. And we got the saddle made up. Uh, very, very military looking. I really do like it. I, I like these new custom saddles and everything. I think Wild Cards are really trying new things, probably for Arc 2. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Newer saddles, more interaction. We'll see. I want to kind of color it up before we do anything new. Anything else with it? Blue right there. Let's see. Does white actually show up on this thing? does I do like that back to the blue I like that what about that last one what was that do that one blue as well then maybe everything else should be white That'll be good. Let's throw her on there and see what happens. What's she look like? Oh, man. I gotta say, I like that a lot. That looks really cool. It's very icy. And we'll put the bullets in it, too. There was a drop there. I thought about going to get it, but... Uh. Okay, so the back one's the kick. Of course, we got the bite. What's X? Nothing. See? Oh, this is really cool. This is control, by the way. I really do like it. So fast. This this destroys how fast the horse is. The bullets are pretty good. I mean, I imagine the better the saddle you get, the better the uh, damages. But I mean, this guy is quick. I mean, I really haven't even seen how you can do melee damage wise. Not a lot. <laughs> Don't do a lot at all, does he? Yeah, that's just me. 
Okay, he does more non-stego creatures. I think he does a lot more, too. Okay, that's not horrible. Turns like a Bronto, though. That's for sure. He does have a secondary attack. But that? Like the horse? Mm. Does do something. Monkeys. I didn't expect to see monkeys out here. Like, I mean, I guess I did. I don't know. I see all kinds of crazy stuff. Really haven't been into the redwoods. I don't want to really go in there. I know there's like thylas and crap in there, and thylas are pretty pretty rough since their update. So this guy's brand spanking new. I wouldn't say like I'm super impressed with him. He he does a lot of cool stuff. But uh, takes a lot of fall damage, it appears. And he runs really, really fast. This is a really good, like, ground mount for moving around. And I'm guess, like I said, if I get a better saddle, I'm sure I can, uh... There's an alpha. I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, what? What? Freaking Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift? What? I've really not seen anything on these guys yet, to be honest. I've not messed with them. I've, I was really thinking this is going to be kind of a mad creature. It, it and, and, and in my opinion, it is still kind of meh. Nothing I really want to go out of my way to use a whole bunch, but I'm sure you have to use them for the for the boss or something. I don't know. Having a whole bunch of these guys running around with machine guns on their backs would be pretty cool, I, I guess. I take fall damage like crazy. I should probably stop stop doing that. It's gonna cost me cost me if uh my luck. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm really, really digging a lot of things about this. When I said turns like a Bronto earlier, I didn't know they did this. It's kind of cool. This doesn't do a lot of damage melee wise. My bat does so much damage. Headshots on Branos? Oh, that don't look like it. It's like I'm wasting more ammo than anything. Sorry, that's pretty loud. Music and everything is very, very loud right now. Yeah. And turn that down just a tad bit. I hate these guys the passion this is this is this is fun for me right here thank you you're getting way too close I'm already out well that was so expensive do that weird thing right there I don't like it yeah I'm sorry if the volume was has been like a little bit off I, I didn't even really really realize how how high it was going I just like well they're immune to bees it's very nice I 
I keep pooping them out. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know they were moon to bees. I guess they are honey eaters. That makes sense. Okay, so we live. Not costing him any more health because of shenanigans. Dude, leave me alone. I do not like Diplodocus with the Kraken mod. Oh. Are these lions? Yeah, these are lions. It's a high level one, isn't it? I hate you so much. I really do. He's, they're like my least favorite creature in Ark. Nice to have some bullets right now. What am I? Why am I so slow? There we go. Do we live up there? So we just run through these rocks, right? Oh, this is very, very nice. And again, I'm sorry I have, I've like kind of like not put any focus on this guy. I wanted to have a nice bread one. I wanted to have have it all ready for like a nice little showcase. This is a great creature, to be honest. I'm. I I still have my reservations about it. I still don't think it's like that great compared to the Dinopithecus from uh, Lost Island. This thing is not as good, in my opinion. I thought the Dinopithecus was just way too good to be honest it was so good and i was i was on the ropes about the dinopithecus as well when i when i first saw it but man oh man it what it was a great dinosaur oh, we got so many of these guys around here oh, that sucks what what are you First, oh no, not doing a lot of damage. Why is my volume so high for what it's set to? Again, it might just be me. Go away. Only level 90. Let's see if I can just turn that down just a little bit. I don't. I'm still messing around with new new settings and everything, guys. I apologize. Bear with me. Oh, they can jump. Holy crap. That is game changing. Again. Slowly, slowly starting to love it more. It's base right there. Very, very slow attackers though, too. Kind of weird. Huh. So we've done that. Why don't we go through, go do a quick cave uh, loot really quick. We can find a saddle for one of those guys. I doubt it. Because, well, I, I will say this. I have found a, a lot of magma source saddles in there as of late. So I'm hoping maybe we can uh, find something better in there. It would be fine. It would be great to find a Desmo saddle. Again, guys, up in the left-hand corner, that's the coordinates for this area. If you need a map look, uh, it's right here. This cave is where I get all my loot from. I used to go to the Aberration Cave. I thought that was a really good place for loot, but this is just so much better.
Oh, that was almost bad. Ooh, a club, wow. In a Capro saddle? Call me rich. Another Thylus saddle. I've gotten so many Thylus saddles. Just gotta be careful. Those guys knock you around like crazy. Of course, the next one is over here. Yeah. We did this the other day on the, uh, The Nonicus, probably should bring him out to show you like how good he is at doing this, but this cave is just so overrun by Onik and uh, everything else. It's really bad. So I kind of prefer this method. It's, I mean, when you have the ability, availability to do this, do it this way. Don't don't go on foot. No matter who, who says what or why. My one buddy was saying... And he was saying, hey, you can do that one on foot, can't you? I was like, no, no, you can't. There's no way. See? Do you see that? Look at that. Look at that. I have regular settings. How is that a thing? That is a spirit bomb of freaking bats. That is nuts. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. And it, that is even the worst time, worst I've seen it, you know? I just said it's the craziest thing I've ever seen, but that's not the worst. No. Uh, watch out for that. And what's beautiful is these drops respawn as you're doing. I can do six drops a, a, a loot here. Oh, man. Cloth pants and an arthropoder saddle? I am a rich man. Oh, an RG saddle. What? No freaking way. Now I feel like we got to tame an RG. Hmm. Should we tame an RG? I need one. I really do for, for gathering metal and stuff. Uh, that's probably what we'll do next episode is tame some RGs and other things that we really, really need, like dung beetles. Yeah, I think that's probably what we'll do. Oh man, this is this has been so lucrative. It's been a, that, that, that I don't care. That RG saddle was well worth it. That was everything we need, and you can see how tough that gave us. But you also can see, like, I mean, we're doing okay, we're doing all right. Here, eat some of this, dude. We get club Capro saddle. It's not even the best Stylus saddle I've found. Megalodon saddle. We need a water creature too, because there are some water caves. Um, Dodicarus saddle, and we got a better one on our guy. Uh, Gilly, cloth. Mm. Man, once we get a grinder, we're gonna be so set. I got metal right here. Where are we from base? Close to base. Okay. Uh, things I want to do in the next couple episodes. I'd like to get a wyvern sometime. A wyvern, an RG, just some, just some better flyers for different reasons. Um, I heard you can get wyvern, wyvern eggs pretty easy with these guys. I haven't tried it myself. I've been tempted whenever I go over to get, like, polymer and stuff. And, uh, I guess I could show this off. This is our base as of right now up here. Um, I'm still playing around with some settings and stuff like that. So, I mean, just different things. I, I want to make it mostly out of stone and wood. Give me a real Viking facade, you know. You, if, you, if you're looking at the layout and you say, that looks familiar, it's because I modeled it after uh, uh, Dragon Reach in Whiterun from Skyrim. We've been playing a lot of Skyrim on Twitch, and i really, really, really excited for this. Underneath, it'll have a giant breeding chamber. As you can tell, it's a very, very big building. Look at that. I mean, there's a lot of space underneath. I'm not going to waste. I'm not just going to have it like that. It's going to have a basement. Um, And it's, it's not finished. Not at all. I mean, I'm still playing around with little designs here and there. That's why we haven't moved into it yet. But we will. And what else? 
about it. I mean, to be honest, we've had a pretty lucrative day. I've really enjoyed the Andrew Sarkis. Um, amount of bullets he used, though. We really need a better saddle, I think. I want to test how good a... I wonder. Just a second. So when we go into this mode, they don't close. Okay. That would be just way too cool. I just thought what I was thinking is like maybe these uh, eye hole thing, these eye things shut or whatever. But uh, no, they don't. Hmm. Really, really cool saddle design. And I love that I can make it my colors. Thank you, Wildcard. Thank you very much. Hey, guys. It's been a really great episode today, and I'm hoping you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, comment, subscribe for all that good, good art content. I, of course, am Icy Wolf, and I'll be seeing you. Bye.